And what this is, is Flick has gone and found a bunch of hashtags that are really similar to the ones that are already in that collection. Um, and also, of course, it's doing this whilst you sleep, which is always great. Hello, uh, welcome to this quick video on Flick. Uh, I'm Sam, I'm one of the co-founders here, and I'd like to help you get started as well as possible uh, with hashtags in Flick. Now, Flick is amazing for building a really solid hashtag strategy, but it's also really good for getting the most out of the time you have available. And if you're like me, maybe you don't have all of the time available in the world to be going really deep on hashtags, that is perfectly okay. And this video is actually gonna be perfect uh, for that. And the main thing that we're gonna be doing is building three collections that have 10 hashtags in each. The reason we're gonna be doing this is because once we have a collection with 10 hashtags in, Flick is gonna do the rest of the work for you. And you'll see exactly how that comes to exist a little bit later on in the video. What we're gonna start by doing is making a really, really broad search. Uh, and the reason we do that is because it, it gives us lots of opportunities to explore. So let's say I'm in the, uh, the fashion niche, I'm a fashionable guy. <laughs> uh, I'm not, uh, but let's say fashion life. Uh, and I know I've, I've chosen fashion life because let's say this is a you know a hashtag you might already know that's quite big in your niche. And what you can see, we've got quite a few different like, options. You've got like, women's style, you've got fashion guide, you've got uh, fashion addicted, outfit of the day. There's lots of different types of hashtags in here that are related to fashion. When you make a search, you're gonna have uh, two different views to choose from. You'll have the grouped view, which looks like this, and you'll have the table view, which looks like this. The group view is really, really good if you're just getting started. Um, it's gonna split your hashtags that are shown into different levels of competition. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna use the table views because there's a few other metrics that I think might be worth showing. You can see the level of competition here and you can see the potential reach. And we've kind of created these scores based on the metrics that are available here. Fashion Life, for example, has a DAPC of 298. DAPC represents a daily average post count. So the number of posts that are made on a hashtag per day. We've also got average likes, which is kind of the average number of likes a post is getting if it's ranking in the top post of a hashtag. You've got your total posts and you've got your average comments. So what we're gonna to do to start is just look at some of these hashtags and expand out a few different options. And what that means is this little button here is gonna search the hashtag that's in the table. So if I click here, it's gonna give me a list of hashtags that are related to fashion guide. And here is a list of hashtags that are related to fashion life. You know, there's gonna be some overlap, but um, you know, if you go back to fashion life and you go actually outfit of the day style, I'm gonna open that, that should be a slightly different avenue than maybe fashion guide. And what we wanna do here is expand maybe six or seven different hashtags. So now we have a bunch of different hashtags in here. What I'd like to do is, is quickly show you how filters work. All of the, the hashtags fit within any range of metrics. Some here with seven posts a day, some with 2,300. Now, if you're a smaller account uh, on Instagram, you might wanna try and find hashtags that have a lower competition. Um, it's gonna mean, mean it's easier for you to be seen on them. An easy way to do that is to change the number of daily posts. The less people posting in a hashtag per day, the less competition you're gonna be up against. So I'm just gonna change this to say, I don't want there to be any hashtags here that are getting more than 200 posts in them every single day. But I also want to make sure they're getting at least 10 posts a day. And I'm gonna apply that. Now I have a completely different set of hashtags. You may also want to uh, remove things with keywords. You might say, well, do you know what? Uh, I actually mainly do men's fashion. So I sh the hashtag should not contain uh, women or a woman. You also get rid of woman. Um, so now I'm only going to get hashtags that fit within this range and they don't include the words woman or woman, which is going to help me refine this search and it's going to apply it to all of these different um, hashtags that I've opened here. Now you have a, a, a general idea on how filters work. I'm going to give you a quick hack. One of the really special things about Flick is that we've tried to focus on helping you save as much time as possible. So if you don't want to work out what all the right metrics are going to be, that's completely fine. We've got your back. The one caveat here is that you do have to link your Instagram account for this to work. And that's also really useful for a bunch of other stuff that we do. Link your Instagram account and you'll get this thing called Smart Filters. And it's gonna give you a set of filters that help you avoid big mistakes. Um, so if I click this, it's just gonna look at my Instagram account and it's gonna look at the metrics attached to it. And it's gonna give me a set of filters that's gonna help me perform um, well. So I've applied Smart Filters now and we uh, have a bunch of different um, hashtags here in, in these ranges that it's outlined for me. And to keep this video nice and quick, I'm gonna remove my filters for the time being. And what I'm gonna do now is pick 10 hashtags that kind of fit into this general fashion category. Uh, fashion guide, fashion enthusiast, uh, fashion addicted, ideas, sense, uh, fashion photography, uh, maybe that way to a different collection, uh, personal style blogger, fashion blog, fashion diaries, uh, style inspiration, and fashion style. 
So now we've got 10 hashtags selected, we're gonna create a collection. Um, and all you do is click this 10 selected hashtags button and click save to a collection. See, I already have some because I've, I've done, done this before. Um, and we're gonna create a new collection, which is let's say fashion, and I'm gonna put in brackets general. And then I'm gonna change this to a little t-shirt, there we go, boom. And that, what that's done is created a fashion collection. Now for you, you might want to be a bit more specific about the hashtags you choose, and you want to create three collections that have a slightly different focus. Maybe you've got your general fashion, maybe you've got your London Fashion Week uh, collection, and you might also have maybe some tips and tricks uh, if, if you give advice on Instagram or something like that. So now taking a trip over to our collections, and what you can see here is my fashion one, um, I've got my 10 hashtags in here. What you can see here, it says zero suggested. Um, and I mentioned earlier on in the video, that the reason we're adding 10 is we want Flick to do the work for us. So what we're going to do is move over to a collection of mine that I already have hashtags in, have been in there for a little bit. So now I've got a collection here that I made a while ago, and you can see I've got these suggested hashtags up here. And what this is, is Flick has gone and found a bunch of hashtags that are really similar to the ones that are already in that collection. And the reason this is good is because it can use all the hashtags in there at once to find you suggestions, rather than just a single search like you do in, in the search page. Um, and also, of course, it's doing this whilst you sleep, which is always great. So what you can do once you're in here is click on the suggested hashtags and then you can just add in any that you think are relevant and you want to add to that collection. It's a really good way to make sure that you're, you're mixing up which hashtags you're using and you're getting the most out of Flick. And that's why we suggest that you make uh, three collections so you can have three different types of hashtag groups being curated for you whilst you're doing other important things for your business. One of the other great things about collections is that on our mobile app, if you haven't downloaded it already, please download it. Um, all of these will be here ready and waiting for you. So if you do end up making some last minute posts instead of using our scheduler or something like that, they are there ready to go uh, whenever you need them. You can also search on the mobile, make posts from the mobile, all of that lovely stuff as well. And it just means that your hashtags are always there whenever you need them. And what this should hopefully mean is by the end of your trial, you will have loads of hashtag suggestions that are super relevant for the kind of content you're gonna be posting. And it hasn't taken you too long to do it as well as be using hashtags that are actually suitable for your account and gonna provide you with the best results. So hopefully that was useful. And if you do have any more questions, you, you have this little button here, which means you can speak to our lovely team uh, who are there to help you whenever you need it. So yeah, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this and thank you for taking the time to try Flick out. Uh, we hope it helps you save as much time as possible and you feel less stressed and more energized when you're doing your work.